many of us likely own at least one product from a German brand. Perhaps you drive a German car, store your food in a German fridge, or use a German shaver for your beard. Typically, we pronounce these German brand names as follows. Mercedes-Benz, BMW, Porsche, or Hugo Boss. But are we pronouncing these brand names correctly? Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Today I will teach you how to pronounce 15 of the most famous German brands and I will tell you the story behind each brand name of them. Ready? Let's get started. First up is the luxury car brand Mercedes-Benz. In German it's pronounced Mercedes-Benz. Mercedes-Benz. Please note, the letter C in English is C in German and the letter Z in English is Z in German. That's why we say Mercedes instead of Mercedes and Benz, not Benz. Mercedes-Benz. By the way, the three-pointed star logo of Mercedes-Benz represents the universal memorization of land, sea and air. Now let me tell you why the name of Mercedes-Benz is Mercedes-Benz. The name Mercedes-Benz refers to two parts. Mercedes is named after the daughter of an Austrian businessman, Emil Jelinek, who had helped to finance the development of the first Mercedes cars, while Benz comes from Karl Benz, the German engineer who has invented the first gasoline power cars and founded the company that would eventually merge with Mercedes, so we have at the end Mercedes-Benz. Next we have another car manufacturer which is BMW. Germans pronounce it BMW. BMW. Warum? The letter W in English is V in German. By the way, BMW stands for Bayerische Motorenwerke. Bayerische Motorenwerke. BMW originally started as an aircraft engine manufacturer, Bayerische Flugzeugwerke, in 1916 during World War I. And the BMW logo is based on the colors of the Bavarian flag, the region in Germany where BMW was founded. Brand number three is Audi. Audi, mein Lieblingsauto. Vorsprung durch Technik. Audi, in people in some countries pronounce it Audi, but the correct pronunciation is Audi. In German, the combination of the two letters A and U should be pronounced like Au. D. Audi. And the four rings of the Audi logo represent the four companies that merged in 1932 to create the company we know today. And these companies were Audi, DKW, Porsche und Wanderer. Now to one of the most renowned car brands, Volkswagen. Volkswagen. In German, it's pronounced Volkswagen. Volkswagen. The letter V in English is V in German, and as we said before, the letter W is V. That's why we don't say Volkswagen, but we say Volkswagen. Volkswagen. Or you can simply say VW. But what does it mean by Volkswagen? Well, this word consists of two parts, Volk and Wagen. Volk means people, and Wagen is car or vehicle. So, Volkswagen is the people's car. And how can we forget Porsche? And by the way, it's not Porsche. The letter E at the end of the German words must be pronounced. That's why we say Porsche, not just Porsche. 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 Porsche is a German sports car manufacturer founded in 1931 by Ferdinand Porsche. Now let's take to the skies with Lufthansa. Say it as Lufthansa. Because when the letter S is at the beginning of a syllable, like in the words Hase, Nase, or Hose, Hansa, then we pronounce it 
Z, not S. That's why we don't say Lufthansa, but we say Lufthansa. The word Lufthansa is composed of two parts, Luft und Hansa. Luft means air in German, and Hansa refers to the Hanseatic League. It was a commercial confederation of merchant guilds that existed in Europe back then. Number 7. You know Adidas, right? Germans pronounce it Adidas. Adidas. Not Adidas, but Adidas. There's no big difference between the German and English pronunciation of the word. And did you know that Adidas was started by two brothers who later became viral? Yes, the other brother started his next brand, which is Puma. Pronounced normally as Puma, like the animal. The Puma logo is one of the most recognizable logos in the world of sportswear. Next up we have the luxury brand Hugo Boss. Hugo Boss and Germans pronounce it as Hugo Boss. Why? Because the letter U in English is U in German. Hugo Boss. The name Hugo Boss comes from the company's founder Hugo Ferdinand Boss. Number 10 is Schwarzkopf. Schwarzkopf. Schwarzkopf is a hair care product brand founded in Germany in 1898 by Hans Schwarzkopf. And the translation of Schwarzkopf is black head. Schwarz is black and head is Kopf. Schwarzkopf. Number 11. And now it's time for some sweets with one of my favorite chocolate brands, which is Rita Sport. Rita Sport. And by the way, the word Rita means the night in English. And who didn't like Haribo as a kid or adult? Haribo is a German brand and you can pronounce it as Haribo. Haribo. Haribo is a German candy brand headquartered in Bonn in Germany. Now, let's move to three important technology brands. Number one is Siemens, and it is not Siemens, why? As we said before, when the letter S is at the beginning of the word or a syllable, we pronounce it like Z, not like S. So it is Siemens. And it's called Siemens because of its founder, Werner von Siemens. The second technology brand is Braun. Braun, just like the color. The brand name comes from the founder's name, Max Braun. Number 15. Finally, we have Bosch. And there is no difference between the German and English pronunciation. It is Bosch. The name Bosch comes from the company's founder, Robert Bosch. And by the way, have I told you before why I named this channel German C? Um, actually, because of my last name. My name is Hussein Mansi and the last name is Mansi and German is the language I teach. So German plus Mansi equals German. Well, that was mouthful, wasn't it? But don't worry, with some practice you will get the hang of it. And now it's time for a fun quiz to see how well you've learned. I will show you the brand logo and you must guess the pronunciation of it. Ready? Let's go! Number 1. How to pronounce this brand name? Das ist BMW. BMW. Number 2. Braun. Braun. And the last one is Yes, it is Siemens. Siemens. So dear friends, this is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and consider to subscribe to the channel for more fun and uh, educational content. Bis zum nächsten Mal. This is all mine. Tschüss.